Welcome to another episode of The Peasant's Perspective, a show dedicated to highlighting the ideas my viewers share with me in their comments. Before we get started today, there's something I want to talk about that might increase your chances of getting highlighted. See, there was a comment I got from a fellow named T-Lord, talking about ways to improve the currently very stale new Super Mario Bros. series. He had a lot of cool ideas. Further diversifying the abilities of the cast, traveling through separate worlds rather than a single hub map, character-specific challenges where one would go into a level seeking different things. They were fun. I liked them. Just one problem. Now, this isn't a deal breaker for me. I love it when people take their time to write long comments like this, so I will read this, but it's so hard to read! I've got pretty severe ADHD and I spend half the time trying to find where I left off because the words are all blurring together. No offense to you, T-Lord. Nobody likes to format, I respect that, and I adored your ideas. Just... paragraphs. I would very much appreciate it. Alright, let's start proper. This doesn't seem like a particularly feasible change to me, Rebel Beam Master X84, but it would be amazing. Imagine if, in a perfect world, the Smash team has the time to give every character several different playstyles. Make a Mario that focuses on using Flood, a Paper Mario, one that focuses on the sports games, an actual Dr. Mario that uses puzzle elements, maybe even mix and match for a truly customizable moveset. There would be no need to pick and choose the abilities to reference for each character, because every character would be meeting their full potential. Admittedly, I'm not sure how I'd feel about having so much work going into a single character, but it would be cool. Maybe that's how they'll reboot the series in seven years or so. Another good idea comes from Needlewind. Special Smash has been around for a while, a mode where you change up various traits of your character. Make everyone giant, or fast, or metal, or invisible. But what if you could change these traits for each individual character? The example they give is having a giant stamina character against a tiny 5 stock character. Basically, a boss fight. This essentially creates customizable multiplayer event matches. And that would be amazing. Through a lovely conversation I had with Jedi Jess, we came up with a new and improved race to the finish. The concept is the same, trying to reach an end goal before the time runs out. But here, you start in the center of a randomized maze, where the goal is to reach the edges. Kind of like Smash Run, but with a greater focus on putting obstacles in your path. Different characters would have an easier time passing certain obstacles. Yoshi can drop to the bottom of the maze, Ganondorf can break through physical objects in his path, and Sonic can just run to the sides. Maybe even throw in some aspects of the Great Maze, switching between doors to reach different areas. It'd certainly be a lot better than this abomination. Smash Brothers has had alternate color tints for its characters since its inception, but they could be so much better. Hamada520 proposes we push this feature as far as we possibly can. In the example they give, imagine you have Pikachu Libre. You get the chance to change her skin tone, and can then change the individual colors of her outfit. And not set color tints, oh no. We're talking full-on color wheels here. There'd probably need to be a separate mode for customizing and saving your costumes, but this could add so much personality to the game. I'm going to wrap things up here. I want to try and keep these episodes around five minutes. Makes them easier to make. For now, let's end off by talking about character concepts. I see a lot of these. I'll definitely do an episode dedicated to them at some point in the future. But for now, I just want to point out that the one character I see the most that gets all the love and attention is Hector from Fire Emblem Blazing Sword. And I could not be prouder. 